all right uh, let's try to copy because me I'm not really into copying this uh, we used to do that when we were kids and to study and learn anatomy and stuff and because later on you realize wow you can actually draw your own stuff so why do you need to copy but uh, just do this for fun and I'm not into accuracy I just want to show how I approach how to copy a, uh, an image or someone else's drawing so we see <coughs> okay I'm using Photoshop because it's a lot easier to record this instead of using a, a paper and pencil to set up camera have to have a proper angle to get it right but we're not gonna do any tracing here we're just gonna do some like eyeballing so okay the first thing I need to know is, is find a uh, a base so I'm gonna use his head as my base all right so let's say if you have a if you put a tracing paper over this okay and and that would be the head size okay and if you measure that roughly the body okay roughly that's the head size head of the head mm, the butt double it triple it yeah down to the crotch so of course he's got this kind of angle and that would be one two three four and that's your proportion so if I start drawing that in a canvas imagine this is uh, your pencil yeah and paper so let's say this is the center uh, doesn't matter I, I'm, I don't need to get the same size roughly as long as it would fit in my paper so if the head somewhere here all right that would be my head my Batman head okay and I start making a, a guide here roughly so what do I say four heads high one roughly because if you make a mistake here for sure you know you can adjust them so roughly like this so one two three four it's not necessary just got it there so you don't get confused okay and now what you need to look at him now you know use your tracing paper on top of this so yeah, I'm gonna make a bit of uh, like a tracing paper so you actually can see ah <sighs> it's a good thing with Photoshop okay yeah, you can see anyway I'm still recording checking yeah recording all right let's go back to the canvas uh, to to Batman reference as you can see his waist is near between three and four yeah. okay he's the ch start of his chest is near number two so if I use my reference here now so the waist is between three and four so it's the waist should his waist should be should be ending somewhere there. Okay. 
this might not be okay. Actually, uh, I recorded something before, and <laughs> I actually pressed accidentally the stop button. So I end up, I was doing a Hellboy, and the same thing. See, I use a pencil to measure. Not digitally, but traditionally, you have to use a pencil to get the size of the head. And he ends up around nine heads tall. You know, and this one this is the one I'm was copying before. Just to show you. This guy. Alright. So I measured him before. Around eight to nine heads high. And that's how I end up. You know, when you look at its proportion, it looks nice, but I'm not saying it's accurate. There are things there that I kind of emit or change. Because I don't need to get it exactly. That's that's Mike Mignola. I, that's not mine. He, he's, 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 I just admire his work, but, you know. And then, and I just try to kind of change the color so it would look like a pen and ink, but it's not. So I'm um, thinking about doing this later on with the real pen and paper. But anyway, let's hide that just to show you what I've done before. Okay, let's go back to Batman. All right. And now, when you go back here, imagine you have to get the action line in animation. We do that so we know. Say his chest is like this. Right. And his leg. Those are the things you need to get the angle. All right, his other arm you don't need to see. Okay. I hope you can actually see the drawing. All right. See, these are the things you need to see. That you have to get the same kind of angle when you draw it on the uh, the canvas. So, just eyeballing it, let's go back to the canvas. Alright. So, some people, they use, you know, those grids and stuff like that. It's up to you, you can do that. Why not? Who cares? And don't be afraid, it's just a lot of cleaning to do later on, because anyway, you're using that uh, what they call it the blue pen pencil where you don't you cannot really Xerox when you scan it it doesn't show up that's what they use chroma color or something I can remember now anyway just to show you so now let's try to see the angle of the chest kind of like that not straight but kind of angle like that all right okay and let's see the waist somewhere there. and the chest okay let's kind of define the head a bit more okay let's kind of hide this a bit I don't need first don't don't you don't need to put details just get the proportion right, the details would be even more fun when you start adding the detail like that. Alright, see the angle of the neck? Got the angle. And then the chest, the middle of the chest, chin there, chest. Think of straight lines, you know, don't worry about curve, you know. So here it's just the when you look at when you look at the the waist it's like the size of his head but kinda a little bit you know. Or let's put the horn or the ears, whatever. Okay, the size so two heads two heads so somewhere there shoulder okay and the shoulder that's where the back start straight lines don't worry about curve yet straight lines 
and then the rib, you know, or chest, sorry. You have to really study anatomy to understand. I'm still studying, never ending study. Okay, now let's go to, okay, let's pass the belt. So, the belt is somewhere, the width of the belt is somewhere. Now let's go to the crotch. Okay. Remember the angle? Oh, it's a bit. Remember, follow this angle. You know. And when you continue, that would be longer. Well, remember the guide here before? Ooh. Four. Maybe five. A bit. Six the, the five. Let's go this way. Let's add more. Five. Roughly. Six. So it's between five and six where he sneezes. He sneezes. Somewhere there. Roughly. Alright. And angle again. Angle. Angle. Crotch. kind of awkward this kind of <laughs> pose but it looks cool all right all right another angle we need to follow down Sometimes there are drawings that you want to change it yourself. Actually, you can get away if you, the head of your character is smaller than than bigger. You know. Okay. Now let's go to the arm. So the arm guide is like that angle. Around here is the elbow. Okay, now when you look at the your hand, ends up near his nose, or between eye and nose, so it's somewhere there, between uh, one, the two lines between one. You guys, you don't really need to follow what I do, it's just my style. Just giving you some pointers. Uh, you might learn something here that you don't want to do because... Uh, it's 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 not bad. Uh, it's it's bad or it's not accurate for for you for your liking or you know. So okay, let's do the tricep. Mm. Okay, and now you see the corner. Uh, it's not really, it's just chest and this uh, form. It's near between two and three, somewhere there. Remember, if your line guide is not accurate, don't expect it to be accurate. And his hand will be somewhere there. Alright. Okay. And now all you have to do is just add details. And also, and when you add detail, I'm, I'm talking about proportion here, because that is more important. When you get the proportion, detail is easy. You just add them later. And you know where to put them, because now you have the solid uh, foundation. All right. And let's say here, you can just do it roughly. Yeah, in 
that that escaped somewhere. Yeah. And you see the point there? It may be somewhere here and you know whatever. And remember I'm i I'm I'm not putting anything the point is somewhere there. For sure you understand what I'm talking about. Because you have no one to impress but yourself. If you're happy, let's take off this uh, unless you wanna show it to your friends, you know. Of course you wanna put the dragon or whatever animal is that. Let's do it if you want, but I don't know. Oh, would be a a gargoyle. And and the rest is just adding detail, make it look cool. You know? And of course you need foundation before you put details, you know. So uh, I wouldn't say that's perfect, but who cares? And then just do the details. Data. Hope you like it. Yeah. So sometimes this is how I <coughs> do some shadow just to help complete the little bit of this drawing. I use a selection tool. If you're using Photoshop. <laughs> This is just a guide because if if you're the person inking it, it can go crazy. Oh. Wrong one. You just know, just know your anatomy. Learn anatomy properly. Human anatomy or animal anatomy. And then I would just do this. Boop. I wouldn't say that accurate. I did. I don't really like the inking of this. Uh, it works for the image. Ah, uh, that was his. Uh, what do you call it? Putting on his gloves. As you can see, I don't really even go to the face. See, what do you call this uh, thing, the pointy part on his gloves? Because there's no negative space, kind of have to whiten that. So. I don't know who did the uh, inking of this, if it's a professional. Is it Morita? No, I don't know. Hmm. not really good but yeah. you know what I'm blocking the whole thing see it's not very good because the negative is gone look it's gonna be all black But what I'm talking about, 
it's just a proportion. So we got it right. Don't worry about it anymore. And this is the dragon thing. Just whatever. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's not really good design idea. It disappears all the detail. Nice detail there. I won't do that. Boop. 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 I'll just leave it there and I guess you understand what I'm talking about doing the proportion and then you add your detail and that's it have fun okay thank you and have a good day